Everywhere in the world. Now, um, the Mishnah said yesterday, just to quickly review, yesterday's Mishnah said that if you sell a donkey, stam, you didn't say with the baby, without the baby, without with the fall or without. You sold a donkey, stam, it includes the siach, that's the uh, the baby, the foal, the baby, the baby donkey. But now if you sell a para cow, you didn't sell the baby. What's the difference? Sigmar says either way. You just mentioned the mother, the do mother donkey, the ass, whatever they call that, uh, or the uh, or the cow. What's the difference? So Mara says it's speak where you sell, where you said I'm selling you a nursing cow or a nursing donkey. So when you say you're selling a nursing cow, you mean it's a cow that gives milk, and you didn't mean the baby. You just mean it gives milk, and if it doesn't give milk, it's a mekhtos. He sold you an old cow that can't give milk anymore. Whatever the reason is, he can't give milk. Then it's a mistake. When it comes to donkey, you can't drink the milk anyway. So it's uh, the I don't know, they don't ask, you know, you could sell it to a guy, maybe, whatever, but the assumption is that you're not yelling, that the sense that you can't use the donkey's milk because it's not kosher. So why did you say nursing donkey? Ah, oh, you meant with the foal, with the baby. Okay, that's what you meant. Now the Mishnah said, if you sell any fixed items, like in the ground, a garbage dump, a, a boar, uh, um, a, um, a, a beehive that's like in the ground or that's at least attached, uh, what about the stuff that's, in, what about the garbage included? So he says the garbage is included. If you sell a boar, you include the water that's with it. If you sell a beehive, the, the uh, bees go along with it. If you sell a birdhouse, that's also the birds go along with it. That's what the Mishnah said. You sell those things, Tom, the things that are in there are included in. Today's Gemara is going to deal with these items that are fixed. Now, if you sell the birds, you didn't sell the birdhouse. If you sell the bees, you didn't necessarily sell the beehive. If you sell the water from the boar, you didn't necessarily sell the boar. And then the same thing, if you sell the garbage from the garbage dump or the fertilizer, whatever you, whatever's in there, you don't sell the garbage. But if you sell the fixed item, then the movables that are inside are included. As Misha said, now we're dealing with the Gemara about 10 lines down on Ayin Tesselot. Machar, Ash, Machazot, and all these cases. Tanasim, we learned in Mishachlis, Me'ila, sacrilege, when you use uh, something of Hekdash improperly. Kolaroi, the Mizbech, anything that's fit for the Mizbech, that means a kosher, short kesev ace, one of the three animals, one of the three four-legged animals that you can bring as a carpet, if it's unblemished, or birds, or the, the yonim, yonim, or um, uh, the two kinds of birds, nayona, torma, nayona, there are two kinds of birds that you can bring, if it's right for them as bad, or if it's even flower, things like that, below the bedek bias, it's not right for the meaning, of course, bedek bias means construction, she puts him in the base of Mikdash, but if it's Roy for a couple, let's say you say, I'm going to give, I want to give this ox to the base of Mikdash. I'm not planning to bring it as a carbon, but I just like to bring it to the base of Mikdash. They can use it for plowing or whatever they need it for. They could sell it. No, if you sell, if something is Roy for the Mizbeach, you're supposed to use it for the Mizbeach. Fine. So certainly Me'ila applies there. You can't, you can't uh, use the animal improperly for secular purposes. Let's say it's Lebedic Baisal Mizbeach. Let's say it's fit for use in construction. Maybe it's uh, precious stones that can be used, uh, uh, Zav and Kesef can be used uh, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the items of the base of Migdash, the menorah, the shulchan, etc. You can use it there, or precious stones that can be used in construction. Even waters, we'll see, can be used in construction because you mix it with the, uh, with the cement. So if it can use in construction, also there you have Mila. Not only those, but let's say you gave some cheese to the base of Migdash. Well, you can't use that in construction. You certainly can't use it in the base of Migdash uh, in the, as a carbon, but you could sell it. It belongs to the base of Migdash. You could sell it. That means Lola, but it's still Hegdash. It belongs to Hegdash. So any of these items, certainly if it's right from the Beth, certainly if it's right for better, even, even if it's not right from the Beth, but it's used for the better bias for construction, or even if it's not, cannot be used for either one, but it belongs to the base of Migdash, they could sell it and use the money to buy other materials or to buy carbonos. You moel in those items and what's included in them, in them. There are not, a, what's included in these items. Now, what are we speaking of? Which cases? Are we talking about the case of the Mishnah? Kate said, he gives an example. This is the Mishnah in, in Megillah. Now, these are similar to our cases. If you sell, if you're Makdish, you dedicate, you sanctify to the base of Megillah, a boar, a pit, a cistern full of water, or garbage dumps full of Garbage or or uh, fertilizer, shavach malayonim, bird a birdhouse full of birds, sodom leyasavim, a field full of grass or whatever or crops, whatever grow there, ilanasi peiros, a tree that's laden with fruits, mol mashavatochem, you mol and everything there. Everybody agrees, right? If I mock just the whole thing, the fixed item plus the things that grew on it or the things that are inside it, well, avol hikdish bar va'achagash mesmalamai. 
Let's say you were Maktish an empty cistern, and then it got filled with water. You Maktish it to the base of And then water came in. Does the water belong to the base of You mow in that? That's, let's say, Bor or an empty dung heap, and then you, their dung came in afterwards, or or you, empty, you sanctified an empty bird birdhouse, and then it was filled with birds, or Elon, you sanctified a tree that was bare, and then it grew fruits, or or an empty field, and then you grew crops there. He says, there also, listen to this, Debra Buda. Buda says, Buda says, that uh, if you're maktish, an item, and it had the things in it already, like a bore full of water, then you're moral everything. Because you're maktish, everything included. But if you're maktish, a tree, and then it grew fruits afterwards, right? Though, then you're only moral in the tree, not in the fruits. This is the first opinion here. Now, our Gemara has, right? If you're, if you're, if you're maktish, the main fixed item, the karka, and then these things grew afterwards, you're not mowing them. Says it. Now, Tosis takes out the Rebbe Yehuda, uh, because it's in the Mishnah, it's not found yet. But we'll see in the Gemara that that is considered to be the opinion of Rebbe Yehuda either way. Rebbe Yossi Omer, Rebbe Yossi makes a difference. Now, listen carefully. Does it make sense to say, uh, does, is there a difference, would you say, between the boar full of water or the birdcage full of birds versus a tree or crops? You could say there's a difference. Why? Because in the case of a tree or crops, it grew out of the tree itself. It's like attached to it. It grew out of there. The boar didn't, the water didn't grow from the boar. You just threw them in. The birds didn't just grow from the bird cage. They flew in there. They came from us. They're not, so to speak, attached to the to the item. So Rabbi Yossi makes it, Rabbi Yossi a sada vesilon. If you're maktish a, a, a field or a tree, even what grew afterwards, nay, shame you do the you grew out of If I was maktish a tree or maktish a field, then something grew out of there that grew out of hektish. So that's hektish too. Okay, so Rebuta says, clearly Rebuta says, if I mockish the item and the stuff was inside like the boar full of water or the bird cage full of birds, okay, then you're mulling everything, you're mockish the whole thing. But if you were mockish the item and then the other stuff grew afterwards or flew in afterwards, you're not. Rebuta says, well, in the case of trees, the case of things attached to the ground, trees or crops, then it grew out of it. Even if I, even when I was mockish it, the fruits weren't there, the crops weren't there, but if they grew out of it, it's and, and it's kadosh, and therefore you can't be mauling them. Rajbam says over here, interesting thing, he says that he makes it between, and Tosas argues over here, Rajbam says something, what, what does it take to be to, to be to, to commit sacrilege? Well, he says if you put a, uh, let's say you had a boar full of water and you put the, uh, you put a, a bottle in the boar, it was cold, the water was cold in the boar, and you put a, a bottle in there to cool it off. So you're mole, and that's considered meila. Um, so Rashbam says, even though even though you haven't caused any damage. In other words, normally meila is something blank text. Let's say you have a piece of wood here, which blank text you're going to use a construction. And I had enough from it, I, I cut off a piece, or I used a piece, I burned off a piece to make some charcoal or whatever. So then uh, it's a, it's not attached to pollution. You're not mole until you do some damage. You know, if I just sat on the on a tree, uh, on a uh, beam that belonged to Hegdish, well, I didn't do any damage, right? So he says, even, you didn't do any damage. If it's not attached, you did, you did Mila even, uh, only, if, only if it's, only if you did damage. Tosa says that's incorrect because Makdish, you're not moel in something attached at all. I think what Rishman is really referring to is an animal. Let's say you're Makdish ashore, a kess of oase, or a bird that you could have, uh, that's kachim is bechi. When are you moil? Let's say I said I took a ride on the shore. I'm not talking about an animal that you're not allowed to work with, like a paraduma, or right, or uh, or the uh, egla rufa. You're not allowed to have any do anything with it. You're not even have a, you're not to do anything with it. But I, I sat on the shore. I didn't do any damage, right? So there it could be that you're moil anyway. Even it's not mechubal akarka. Tosus and Rashbam argue about mechubal akarka. That uh, about mechubal akarka. Uh, Rashbam says, even though you didn't uh, damage it at all. Tosa says there is no meilo on mechubal akarka. Maybe what Rashbam really meant was referring to mechubal, meaning like an animal, not mechubal akarka, but you're molin, and even though you didn't do any damage, as opposed to something which is detached, you're only molin in sight. But whatever the meila is, the question now we're dealing with is, are you moel on items that came into the boar, let's say, after, when you were marked to shit, there was no there, there was nothing in the board. Now there was water came in. Are you mowing that? 
So Rabbi Yehuda clearly said no. Rabbi Yossi says, well, when it comes to trees, things attached to the ground, if I was makdish the tree and then payros grew, then you are moral in that. Tanya, we're right before the lines get wide in the Gemara, three lines before. Tanya, yeah. Couldn't you say if you had a post, which you made, uh, which you were makdish? Right. Okay, and then you used the post to free from Right. So that's the post. That's that if, if if you did some, even if a minuscule amount of damage was done. Right, right. So okay, so so Rashbam says that you're not moral in there. The pollution, according to Rashbam, pollution love and me shift until you do some damage. You do some damage. If you just drank it, because you didn't do any damage, there's no meila there. What does meila mean? Sacrilege. You have to pay the damage, you have to pay back plus twenty-five percent, and you have to bring the carbon meila. That's what Mila me. That's the Avera of Mila. You did it for Mazit, Chayv Misa. Did it for Shogay, uh, you just Chayv the carbon and you pay it back. Okay, but it could be there's no Mila in the case of the coast. The case that you just said, if there's absolutely no damage, absolutely no damage at all, then it could be that there's no Mila there. Tanya, Omer Rebbe. Rebbe says, like this, near and Diva Rebbe Yudah, Baba Shobach. I agree with Rebbe Yudah. Rebbe Yudah said that, <clears throat> Tanakama, that when I was maktish an item, and there was nothing in the item at the time. Afterwards, let's say water came into the board or birds came into the birdhouse, right? I agree with Rebut in that case, that there's no meila on the birds or the water because I wasn't maktish them. Tosis asks, uh, Tosis asks, how are we, what, why not? Why isn't it like, why don't you say like, just like if I have a chutzer and something came in there, something flew in there, I can acquire it that way. Why? So why don't you send by Hegdish? It's like belongs to Hegdish if the birds flew in or the water came into the bore. He says, because a chutzr is because of Yad, like it's my hand, an extension of my hand. By Hegdish, there is no hand. There's no, we don't find that concept of a hand by Hegdish. Anyway, that's what Tosa says. But what does Rabbi say in the Gemara? I agree with Rabbi Yudah by Barbara Shobach, but did Rabbi Yossi the son of Elon, and I agree with Rabbi Yossi by a, by a tree. Let's just have the case of the tree, or uh, the simple case of a tree. I, I was mocked a tree, and then fruits grew afterwards on it. Rabbi Yossi says you're 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 a mole in that too. So I agree with Rabbi Yossi there. But the problem is, what do you mean I agree with Rabbi Yehuda in the case of the boar and the shabbach? Rabbi Yossi in the case of the tree. What do you mean? Does uh, does um, does Rabbi Yossi disagree with Rabbi Yehuda in the case of the boar of shabbach? All Rabbi Yossi said was, in the case of something attached to the ground, if they have a natural tree and then the fruits grew, I agree that the that the there's there's meila on the fruits also. I my, I understand. I understand. I understand why Rabuda, I agree with Rabuda Baba Shabach, Michal the Polika Sarabilan, because it's Mash with what that uh that he agree he disagrees in the case of Sarab Elan, which is what he said. Rabuda says in all cases, when you're a whether it's a tree, whether it's a boar, whatever came in afterwards, is not Kadosh. So I understand. I agree with Rabuda in the case of Barba Shabach Maklal the Polika Sarab Elan. I agree with Rabbi there. Why? Because I disagree with him in the Sarah Elon. By Rabbi Yudah said, so the Elon is just like Barbara Shobach. You don't include the stuff that came in afterwards. You don't include the subsequent items that came there. Um, so I agree with Barbara Shobach, but I disagree in the case of Sarah Elon. Ellen Nir and Jerry when he says, I agree with Rabbi Yudah in the case of Sarah Elon, Michal the Poly Barbara Shor, Mashma what? That he disagrees in the case of Barbara Shobach. Show that Rabbi I, I disagree with him in the case of Barbara Shavach. What do you mean? Rabbi Yossi doesn't disagree with Rabbi in the case of Barbara Shavach. Rabbi Yossi just said, in the case of the son of Elon, since it's attached, it grows out of the out of Hegdish's tree, out of Hegdish's uh, field. So it's Kaddish also. He doesn't agree. But Rabbi Yossi, son of Elon, come on. Rabbi Yossi was going to say, in other words, like Rosh Baum says, he could have just said, I agree with Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi says, in the case of son of Elon, even if it grew afterwards, it's Kaddish. But he doesn't disagree in the case of Borbis, uh, in the case of the Bor, the Shobach. So why do you say I agree with Rabbi Yudah in the case of Barbara Shobach, right? Machlal the Polyga Sod of Elon. I disagree with him in the case of Sod of Elon because Rabbi Yudah says in all cases it's not Kurdish. El Nir Rabbi Yosef the Sod of Elon Machlal the Polyga of Barbara Shobach. What do you mean I disagree with him in the case of Barbara Shobach? Or in other words, that Rabbi Yosef disagrees in the case of Barbara Shobach, and I disagree with him on that. Rabbi Yosef Sod of Elon Kamer. Bechitem Ludvar Rabbi Yudah Kamer. Maybe Rabbi Yosef was saying this. I disagree in all cases. But, but at least be motive to me in the case. I disagree with you. Anything that comes in Tekdish afterwards, whether it was water or whether it was a fruit, uh, I, disagree, I, I, I say that it's Kadosh anyway. But maybe you who disagree in the case of the Bar B'Shobach, at least be motive to me in the case of Karka, in the case of uh, trees or Sada, that what comes in afterwards belongs to Tekdish. Maybe you'll say that. For Tanya, you learn Omar Biosi, Ain Ani Roa, Divrei Shel Rabbi Yudu B'Sada B'Yilan. I disagree with Rabbi Yudu. Here, here in the Brisa, he, this Brisa, he says it even more specifically. When Rabbi Yossi disagrees with Rabbi Yudu, he says, 
I don't agree with the view that in the case of the field, the case of the field or a tree, because it grows up nation do a hegdish, which grew afterwards came from hegdish. The sort of uh, the sort of Elon Huda in a row. He does he disagrees with him. I disagree with him in the case of Sarah. He was talking about a shovach, about a boar, and all that stuff, all those things. He disagree I disagree with the the the, the ashpa, that stuff. I dis, uh, there, uh, uh, there I agree with him. I just disagree with him in the case of Sarilm because it grew out of the karka. Not the same as uh, a garbage dump where the garbage came in afterwards or the water came into the bore afterwards or the birds came into the birdhouse afterwards. That's different. But in the case of the you know, karka, see, so he disagrees. Then, Uden Ra, Hava Bor Beshavach Ra. Mashmi agrees with Rabbi Yud in the case of the Bor Beshavach that since it's not attached and he was, when he was Makdish it was not included, that it's not, it's not Hegdish. The, the items that came in after is not Hegdish. So what does that mean? So what does Rebbe mean when he says, I agree with your view in the case of Rebbe Shavach, I agree with your view of Rebbe Just say, I agree with your view of period. Rebbe Shavach doesn't disagree with the, with the Rebbe in the case of Rebbe Shavach. The answer is Hachi Kamen. This is how you have to understand Rebbe's words. Near and div Rebbe Yudah, li Rebbe Yudah. Not that I agree with Rebbe Yudah in these cases, and I, and I agree with Rebbe Yudah in the cases, but rather Rebbe Yehuda also agrees with Yossi, but Rebbe Shavach. In other words, near Rabbi Yehuda agrees with the Biosi case of Rabbi Shavach, Shafra Biosi, and Achigal of Son of Elam. In other words, Rabbi Yehuda and Biosi don't disagree in the case of Barbara Shavach, that it's not included if it came in afterwards, if it wasn't there at the time you're Makish it. I, I know it's Rabbi Yehuda's words, uh, a near and div Rabbi Yehuda, Lur Biosi, meaning Rabbi Yehuda agrees with Rabbi Yehuda. You could say Rabbi Yehuda agrees with Rabbi Yehuda, but it means Lur Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda agrees with Yehuda in the case of Barbara Shavach, because even Rabbi Yehuda only disagreed with him in the case of Sadi and Barbara Shavach, but he's more in the case of Barbara Shavach. So we have this machlokas between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yossi in the case of the Bar B'Shobach. Rabbi Yehuda says anything that wasn't there when you were Makdashit, including the Sada of Elon, even if it grew afterwards, it's not Kadosh. Rabbi Yossi says in the case of the Sada of Elon, it is because it's Gdu Leikar. Tanur Rabbanah. Six lines from the bottom of the page of the Gemara. Important b'risa. Hikdishan Reikonin. Now we don't know yet what we're talking about. Are we talking about the, the field? Are we talking about the boar? What are we talking about? If, you, if you're Makdashit, when it's empty, nothing in it, and afterwards it was filled up with what? We don't know yet. You're only more in that and not in what's inside. Okay. Rabbi Lazar Shimon says, and you're even more in what's inside to what comes in afterwards. Now, Amarabba, so we're trying to explain what's the case we're speaking about. Are we talking about Sada the Ila, where Rabbi Yossi clearly said, Rabbi Yossi said before that that's included in the gross afterwards, or the boar, or the boar, which is everybody agrees it's not. Amarabba. Machlokas b'sar ve'ilon. Listen to this. He says machlokas is by sar and ilon, right? If it grew afterwards, Tanakam was talking about Very good. Tanakam holds like Rabbi Yehuda that if you were just makdish the field of the tree and there was nothing on it and then it grew afterwards, it's not kadosh. The stuff that grew after is not kadosh. Rabbi Lazar Shimon, Sava Kabbosi. Very good. He holds like Kabbosi that only in the boar, which is the, or the boar, the ashba that came in afterwards, that's not kadosh because it's not attached. But if it's attached, it grew out of the ground or out of the tree. Rabbi Yossi says that it is Kadosh, right? In other words, very clearly, Tanakam holds like a beautiful, Blazer Shimon holds like a Yossi. I'm a Barbara Shovach, they be a common, they mount much to But everyone agrees in the case of the Barbara Shovach, like a Yossi, beautiful, the beautiful before. Then in the case of the Barbara Shovach or the Ashba, the stuff came in after, that's not Kadosh. So far, that's nice. Very good. We have Machlokis Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yossi, and that coincides with the Machlokis Rabbi Tanakam and Blazer of Shimon. But now we're going to throw a wrench into that. Omele Abaye. So who said this member four lines from the bottom of the page of the Gemara? Rabba. He was the Rebbe of Abai and Rabba. Amalei Abaya. So his Talmud, Abaya, who grew up in his house. Rabba Manachmani. Abaya grew up in his house as an orphan. Amalei Abaya. Bela Haditanya. Look at the end of that Brisa. The Brisa said, the Brisa said, the Tan Rabban and six lines from the bottom of the Gemara said, if you're Maktish when it's empty, and then if there was a God fold, you only mull in the thing you were Maktish, not in the thing that came in afterwards. But the Sefer says, listen carefully. El Tanya, the Sefer says, Hikdishin Malay, let's say you're Makdish it when it's full, meaning whatever was there was there, you know, the, whatever was going to grow in or fill in afterwards, more than, you're more in everything. Okay, that makes sense, even according to Buddha. Rabbi Lazar of Shimon, Machlev, Rabbi Lazar of Shimon reverses his Shita. What did Rabbi Shimon say before? You're, you were, you, you were, you're, what's Kadosh is even the stuff that grew in afterwards. And you said that speaking about the Sad of Ila, the price is speaking of Sad of Ila. How could Blazer Shimon say now the opposite? He's saying, but Blazer Shimon seems to be saying, if you say, like Rabba said, that the Bryce is speaking about Sada of Elon. So, what did Rabba, what did Rabba Shimon, Blazer Shimon said originally? That if you're Makdish the tree, let's say, simple case, let's take one case, you're Makdish the tree, and then the tr fruits grow afterwards, it's Kadosh, the fruits are Kadosh. Why? Because they're Gedule Karka. And now, 
if you're Makisha with the tree with the fruits on it, then he turns around and says, then the fruits are not Kadosh. Rav Lozer, Rav Shimon, Machlef, he turns around the sheet, he reverses the sheet. What he said in the Reisha, when he was empty, then he says, no, it's still Kadosh, the, tr- the fruits, the grafters are Kadosh. And now when your Makdash is full, the tree has the fruits on it, then the fruits are not Kadosh. That doesn't make sense. Rav Lozer, Rav Shimon, Machlef, Ve'ibah, Sada Ve'ilan, if we're talking about Sada Ilan, this, this Brisa, the, ta- the Reisha talks about it, Makdash empty, and the Seif is talking about Makdash is full, why would he turn it around? Take a look at the top Rosh Baum on this page. On the base now. Why would he reverse the sheet? Certainly, your makdash the your makdash the the fruits the ikatarti gedule hagdish. Number one, it's, it grows out of hagdish. We got hagdish. I go be yachik your makdash it when it was all there. The logar mi It's no different than selling it. They sell a tree and there's fruits on it. That's included. Ella, but what was Shabbat Mukhusla? It must be. So now, now let's look back in the Gemara. Now, the top line on Amid Beis. Ella Maraba, so Raba accepted what Abayah's criticism was of his Shita, and he said, Ella Maraba, no, Machlokas, but what was In this last price that we're speaking about over here, you makdish it empty. Listen here, if makdish empty, what do we say? The Tanakhama says the stuff that comes in afterwards is not Kadosh, and Bozim Shimon says it is Kadosh. But now we're not saying, now we're, tr- we're switching over, we're saying we're not talking about a son of you, we're not talking about a tree, we're talking about a boar or a shovach where things not attached. Now we have to explain why. What do you mean the machlok is by boar v'shovach? But by boar v'shovach, the Tanakhama says, okay, it's not included. And if it grew, came in afterwards, and Rosh Shemin says it is included, right? Even by Bar B'Shovach. Now he's saying more than Rabbi Yossi. Remember, the Machlok's review of Rabbi Yossi was only by the side of Elon, but everybody agreed by Bar B'Shovach that the stuff that comes in afterwards is not Kadosh. Now, Rabbi Lozor Shimon saying it is Kadosh. And then he says, if you're Makdish, when it's full with water in the boar and birds in the birdhouse, then the water's not included. What's going on over here? How do you explain that? He can't explain in the case of Sada of Elon. Because if I makdish a tree and the fruits of grafters are cutters, certainly if I makdish a tree with the fruits on it, that should be cutters. So he says, but everybody agrees if everybody agrees that what everybody agrees that what meaning everybody in the brisa. Rabbi Yudah still disagrees in the first brisa, but in this brisa, son of Elon, everybody agrees, like Rabbi Yossi said, if you're makdish a tree with fruits on it, you're mal on the tree too. So what's the machlokas of here? We're saying now this last brisa is arguing by a bar b'shovach. If I empty, if I makdish should empty, Tanakhama says, okay, the water is not included, right? The water, water that came in after is not included. And Yossi, Rav Lozer of Shimon says it is included. Why is that? What sense does that make? Is that's not like a, neither Rav Yossi nor Rav Yudah hold of that, but this and the, or nor the Tanakhama. But in in the second brisa. But Rabbi Lazar Shimon said, it is included. So what's Machlokus? So then in the third end of the third line on Amit Beis in the Gemara, what's Machlokus here by Bar B'Shavach? In other words, listen carefully. What's the Chiddush is Rabbi Lazar of Shimon? The Tanakhama is very simple. Tanakhama says, if I makdish a boar and water comes in afterwards, the water's not kadosh. Okay. If I makdish the boar, and it has water in it when I mock the shit, then it is kadosh, right? It is kadosh. Rabbi Lazar of Shimon has the weird sheet, uh, seemingly weird sheet. What does Rabbi Lazar Shimon say? If I mock the shit and there's no water in it and water comes in afterwards, the water is kadosh. But if I mock the shit with the water in it, the water is not kadosh. How does that make sense? How does it make sense? Now we have to understand it. So, Barbara where they my plea. Give me my plea. Okay. So, Barbara Shepard, my plea. Here's my locus. If it's empty, but put the Ramea Rabbana, my famous Machlot Ramea Rabbana, can you be Makdish or Dabr Shlob alone? Can I Makdish them? What's the classic case? Kaddish and Isha, right now she's a Shiksa, uh, but I'm telling you, after I'm giving you Kedushin now, it should be Chao, my friend, after you are Megayer, right? That's a Chalit than a Shiksa. And he says, you know, I'm saying, yeah, I'm not, or after you're Megayer, or a slave girl after she after she is free. So our mayor says, you So the same thing, or Makdish fruits, whatever it was. So here's Machlokas too. Machlokas, we're upon plea, but put the Ramea Rabbana, the Tanakhama, so the Rabbana, the Omri, ain't on Makdish Shavolam. I'm Makdish a empty boar, 
and then water came into it, whatever my kavana was, the water is not cut off. It's not attached. There is no yad of hektish. The bore is hektish. The water came in. It's not. So why? And Rashbam explains because, right? Because um, he holds that so therefore his intention was when he was makdish the bore, he was makdish also the water that's going to come in afterwards, right? Rashbam gives that example. But the machlokis is. Uh, by uh, can you makdish? I makdish. I uh, makdish. I had a kavanah to be makdish a bore, gave it to hektish, and if water came in afterwards too, yeah, you can keep that too. And he always like Rameir, you could be makdish that. And the rabbanon say you can't be makdish that. Says Gemara, what do you mean? Even Rameir, Amir, the Gemara says, how can you say he goes like Rameir? So uh, Rameir don't actually Amir don't show like where do you say Rameir holds that gon pay recycle that vidi also something that's likely to happen. Right in the case where I know the girl is being Megaya or she's going to be freed or whatever, I could say, okay, as soon as you know uh, January first, you're going to get the uh, you're going to get your freedom or you're going to be Megaya going to the Rabbanut. Okay, I'm not, that something's going to happen. Or the fruits, I'm not just the fruits of a tree when they're going to grow because they're likely going to grow. That be does it's likely to go. How do you mean does? How do you know water's going to come into the bore? How do you know the how do you know that uh, that ana- that birds are going to fly into this uh, bird cage? So I, I would say, now there's even a mayor who says, you might something, oh, it's, it's likely to happen. How do you know this is going to happen? I'm going to know you could find it. It's like that. Very simple. I was makdish this bore. And I know that I have a stream of water from my a pool of water in my field. I got a big a big uh, stream of water that I own a stream. And I know it's going to it's gonna run into that bore. So it's likely going to happen. Or I the the, the uh, bird cage that I was makdish. I have other bird cages or but right near there, so I know birds will likely go in there. So you could say it's likely that to be on a bond there that that, uh, that I know birds will likely go into that bird cage. That's makdish it because l'shalvacha because my bird cage is next to there, so likely birds will go in there. Okay, so you could say that's Rabbi Lazar of Shimon Shita. That's when it's empty. So he says when it's empty, Rabbi Lazar of Shimon says I'm even even the water that's going to come afterwards or the birds that are going to come afterwards. Are also Kaddish because I anticipated it and I can be Makdabr Shalabolam. Uber Malay in my plea, but here's the tough one. If Rav Lazar of Shimon says, and what, that even stuff that's going to come in afterwards, when I was Makdish, the thing empty, the thing that coming afterwards is Kaddish. So why would I was Makdish with the stuff in there? I was Makdish the, the, uh, the, uh, the boar with the water in it or the bird cage with the birds in it. Then the birds are not Kaddish. How does that make sense? Uber Malay in my plea. Amaraba, Machlok is here. You go and shake this bar stam. I was much as well. I didn't say with the water. Remember, in all these cases that we've had over these prokum, all the the bird with the house and the chutzer and the base of bad and the and this bird and the and the ship. It's also when you weren't specific. Like I told you, many cases come up in common cases today. When people have a star, it's usually for a uh, uh, buying a, a, a automobile. You know, if you didn't get it, you didn't tell you what's included, the accessories. If you didn't say it, you didn't get it. The same thing with a house. You know, that you bought a house or an apartment, what's included, what's not included, the air conditioner, the yunkers, you know, what's included, the furniture. You got to be. So in these cases, too, if it's stam, it's a problem. So here what happens, he was matching the boy stam. Rablaz of Shimon, so like, who will listen to this, he holds like his father. Who is Rablaz of Shimon's father? Rab Shimon by Yehoi, Rab Shimon, the Rab Shimon of the Mishnah. The Omar, Dunan, Din Gavomi, Din Hedyo. He says, you learn now the Din of Hekish, Din Yamad, Din Hedyo, Motsi Omerle, the owner. If I sold you a boar and it had water and I could say, Beerus, you know, I sold you the boar. My I didn't tell you that. Why? Nishbam explains that he owes mocher ba'ayin roma uh, uh, mocher, and makdish is also the same way. Just like bin hedyo by your commoners, if I sell you a boar full of water, I sell you the boar. I didn't tell you give you the water, right? I sold you a swimming pool. The water is mine, right? I didn't tell you that. You could say that. Matzi amalei beerus minucha ma'alos minucha afdin boa beer akdish malik. Interesting thing. So think about it. When I makdish. A bore, there's no water in. I said, okay, if water comes in afterwards, you know, you can keep it too. It's double slow, I'm not worried about it right now. But now when I'm sell when I'm giving something to Hagdish, it's like I'm selling something and I don't want to sell you that. I'm not just buying up, buying raw, I'm not not just that. So that's 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 how you find this the seemingly contradiction between Blas of Shimon and and Seifa. If I'm not just the bore empty, say okay, double shallow, if you get some water, if water comes in afterwards, I can keep that too. I'm giving you that too. I'm not just that too. But if I'm if I'm Akdish and it's full of water, I want to keep the water myself. That's how he learns. Takes out the 
the uh, the parentheses where Mashal takes it out, and we'll see Shat and Rajbam why that is. Okay, so it's Gemara, but before you even get to that, you didn't have your low. What do you mean? If I makdish a if I makdish a um, a bore and there's water in it, isn't that is, don't you get the bore with it too? Don't you get the water with it too? Rather, didn't we just say in the Mishnah, Macher bore, Macher meimah? If you sell a bore, you get the water with it too. So what do you mean? Shemayim uh, mechunas and Rashi, the Mishnah speaking about there's water, there's water in there too. So why it's between head low? By the time we learn our Mishnah, Macher bore, Macher meimah. It's included with it too. So what do you mean that, oh, he holds that, uh, like his father of Shimon, who holds that just like if you sell something, you're stingy, you don't do you don't give the water with it. The same thing with Hegdish, you learn out that way too. What do you mean? But if you sell a boar and the water's in it, the water is included. Uh, our Mishnah goes like a sheet of Yachid. The Tanya, Machar Bor, Lo Machar We had other rice which says, if you sell the boar, the water's not included. But Nasan Omer Mocha Bor Mocha Meimah. Nasan says if you sell the bore, it is included. Now Rishbam explains over here the last Rishbam here on the page it doesn't mean to say sometimes when you find that you say, oh that's a sheet of a yacht that we don't hold that way. It doesn't mean you don't hold that way. Zar Mishnah is a Mishnah Stam Stam Mishnah. It's authorless and it says Mocha Bor Mocha Meimah. And this Brisa that brings down a Machlokas between the Tanakama and Rav Nasan when there's a when you find a Stam Mishnah and a Machlokas in the Brisa you go like the Stam Mishnah. So here even though he says. Even though the Tanakhami says Machabor Lo Machar Meimav, that that's Rav Lozer Rav Shimon Shita. That if you sell bore, I'm selling it. The, I'm, I'm not generous. I'm I'm selling iron raw, and the water doesn't go along with it. The Psak in Achnami is Machabor Machar Meimav, like Rav Nosson. Even though he's a Shita Siyach, that's a Stam Mishnah, and we hold like him. We'll see the Rashbam inside in a minute. What do the Rabbanon say though? What do the Rabbanon say? Rabbanon say over here when you sell it full, it is included. Right? When you sell it Rabbi Lazar Shimon, we stretch to figure out this whole thing. Why does he reverse the sheet? He says, you know why? Because it's Mocha Bain Ra. Where's about the Tanakama? Rabbanan, so we'll see. It's so Rajbam explains the, the um, Rajbam about 10 lines from the bottom of the Rajbam. Rabbanan, the plea glass for you, Lou. Maktish. If I sell you, if I if I Maktish a, um, a, a, a bore and it's full of water, I give it to you generously, keep the water with it too. You gave me 100,000 for the bore, <laughs> you can keep the water. You can keep the water to makish in amisfila, or he also like Rav Nasson, the Amr Mocher Bor Mocher Meimav. If I sell a bor, I sell it. So certainly, if I makish lo go hekish meyedot. Rav Lazer, Rav Lazer, Rav Shimon says by hekish it's not included because Mocher by raw and hekish and hekish is no different than hekish. That's why he says that's why he takes out the CB. The parentheses make more of Tanakam and Sefer ain't done No, you don't have to say that Tanakam can hold mo that by hekish it is a sale. He holds like our Mishnah. Right, that is that it is a sale. I was like, I'm and hekdish is no worse than that. Or he could say that your makdish buying yafa, even though even by mocher mocher lo buying yafa, but makdish is buying yafa. The last, the last, the last rashbam on the page begins about eight lines from the bottom of the page. Let's see that inside when he says that masis yichidoy, meaning Reb Lazar Shimon doesn't hold like him. Reb Nasan come out of Reb Nasan pligo le. Reb Nasan disagree, and Reb Lazar Shimon go like Reb Nasan. That says that what? And I sell a bore, the water doesn't go along with it. And Hagdish is no different because I'm cheap. Me, who hilchas, a kamasit, the lochas like our Mishnah, can only be promised the stam masisen, umachlokis, begamara, lochas stam. That's a famous cloud. If you have a stam Mishnah, an authorless Mishnah, and a machlokis in the price, you go like the stam, the stam to masisen. That's what you, that's what the halacha, the afagab, become, even though the Gemara says it's a sheet of a yachid, lavla memos, it doesn't mean you're a whole like what I say. Elashminen, Razab Shimon, sphere like Rabbanan. That's a sheet that uh, Razab Shimon does not like of Nasan. That's one sheet. He goes like Rabbanan. So that's that's what case is over here. That Razab Shimon goes like Rabbanan, not like like Nasan. But then, then Rashbam just explains. Let's say Amora says something. Heter, 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 Isser, Odin. Umachlo Masis, the answer comes from the Mishnah. And the Gemara says, Oh, Mishani. The Gemara says, Yechidoi, Masis, Mishani, Yechidoi, Los Sphirlon. Yeah, we don't hold it then. The Amor, we have so we rely on the Amora that he had other sources. Who command the Amor Amora less of the Masis. It's like the Amora says, the Loch is not like him. But over here, when the Gemara says, when the Gemara says Masis and Yechidoi, right? He says Masis and Yechidoi. It doesn't mean to say that the Loch is not that way. The Gemara really holds that the Loch is that way because it's a because it's a Snam Mishnah and a Machlokus and a Brisa. Just means to say that Rabbi Lazar Shimon doesn't hold that way. So Rabbi Lazar Shimon is a stranger, and so it comes out. That if you sell a bore full of water, that's included. The mission said it's included. If you're makdish a bore full of water, you're makdish a bore full of water. Everybody except for Blazer of Shimon says that it is included. 
if you're makdish a bore and it has no water in it, and then water comes in afterwards, is it included? If it's a field, uh, if, if you're makdish a tree, let's say there's no, no fruits, Rav Yudah said and the fruits are grafted, so non included, or Yossi, and certainly Rav Lazar of Shemu would say that it is included. So the whole price would say it is included. If you're makdish a bore without water in it, and then water comes in afterwards, what would you say? Rav Yudah would say it's not included. Rav Yossi would also say it's not included. Not included, and um, and the Tanakama of the second Brisa also says is not included. Rav Lazar of Shimon says Yomakdish Davish Labaolam. He's the only one who says that if Yomakdish an empty bore and then water came into it, it is included. Yomakdish is why because Yomakdish Davish Labaolam because in case of like, so it's pretty strange when it comes to this. He says Yomakdish Davish Labaolam, and you're not cheap about that because you don't have it right now. That's as far. Why is he? Why is he more makeful over here? And that's interesting that he says that he says that the makdish sort of like this. El Harvey feels like you're makdish by raw. Don't go near him. Over here, look, he ain't the head of mocher for some low mochers name up. Conversion of the look must see some mocher born mocher name up. I think of all the same way. Um, you hate it. The aim of mine is just head. In other words, I'm stingy, it says Rob Lazar of Shim. And I go look at my father of Shim by Yohoi, and you're not makdish everything. But when there's no water in it, cut you a mime of one lachem. We can't daughter makdish of all them. Since he doesn't have the water right now, he's not going to say in raw. In raw, if I have something, I don't want to give it away. But if I don't have it yet, yeah, you can keep it. That's what he says. So it's hard to understand, but that's his idea. He's mocked the If I'm mocked an empty bore, then the water comes in after it's included too. I'm not, I don't have it right now. I'm, I'm generous with that. And I can be makta v'shalolam. But if there's water in it, I'm stingy and I don't include it in the in the hagish. That's a, that's a little bit hard thing to understand because he goes and he's stingy with his own stuff. And it's no difference if it's hagish or, or mecher. I'm stingy. I'm not going to give the I'm not going to give the water away as well. All right, I'll pick it from the mission tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody.